we asked uh, for this uh, media press conference so that we can get the word out to our residents and to our voters on some important changes uh, relating to polling locations. Uh, as many of the residents here in East Providence are aware, uh, the, the high school is having some uh, uh, difficult situations with uh, flooding and electrical issues uh, to the point where we had to um, uh, go to distance learning this last week. And because of that, the high school will not be able to be utilized as a polling location. Uh, those people who ordinarily vote at uh, the high school will have to vote at a lo different location. We'll go over that in a minute. And the people who were uh, normally voting at Rumford Towers had been moved to the high school, but because of the technical difficulties there, they're going to have to move to a different location. So uh, what I can tell you is that all people who were scheduled to vote at the high school, uh, who ordinarily vote at the high school, will be voting at the East Providence Senior Center located at 610 Waterman Avenue. Uh, and those people who normally vote at Rumford Towers, uh, they will be voting at the Orlo Avenue School. That's located at 25 Orlo Avenue. Uh, we anticipate that this election is going to be no, like no other election. There's a high turnout. Uh, we have been allowing people to vote here in City Hall. It's been open to the uh, community. We're up to, as of just a few minutes ago, 5,800 voters that have turned out to vote here at City Hall. And uh, because of the, the high demand, uh, especially as I was told uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesdays we ordinarily stay open uh, till 6 p.m. Uh, there was a line around the building. What we've decided is that this Saturday we will be open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, Saturday City Hall, Halloween day, City Hall would be open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. so that people can come in and vote um, here at City Hall.